comes the tall person. Well, I'm getting them. <laughs> All right. Get the tall. I mean, get the tall. You did that no hands again? Well, let's see. Let's see you reach the branches. Hmm? You can just touch a branch. That, that branch over there. By that tree. See how, look that, how high the, I got the tree that. by the shed. Wow, Anna. I guess you only want to go on the big plane, huh? Do you need help? No, I can push myself. Good. Well, let's see you do it. Right now you are. Yeah. 
Sure, the boys in Scotland aren't going to be too happy about that. But how do you feel? Happy. Yeah. And why don't you tell the camera all the things you love to do? Like you like to do what? Arts and crafts? Yes, I love arts and crafts. I really love them. Even in school, I do. And what else do you love? I love playing with kids. Yeah. And don't forget to look in the camera. I like I like boys' angles, but I'm gonna be in that video. I'll make a boy. A ghost girl that says no boys allowed. <laughs> okay, enough of the no boys. Hi, my name is Allison, and um, you just saw my daughter, my two daughters, Anna and Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca was diagnosed two years ago, uh, exactly September 2003, with pervasive developmental disorder um, at the age of almost three. Um, from about 18 months, we knew that something was wrong. Um, she was not social. Um, she didn't have any language, any verbal language. Um, tantrums, problems with transitions, um, classic signs of, um, of the spectrum disorder. <clears throat> um, we started seeing Dr. Newbrander in May of 2003. Started Rebecca on some supplements and thereafter, um, in June of 2003, started um, the methyl B12 shots. Um, we saw but changed pretty quickly. Um, probably um, the biggest change, <clears throat> excuse me, was between June 2003 and May 2004. Um, just consistently every month, um, we were seeing her just do more and more things. Um, more words were coming. Um, she was attempting to be more social. Um, she started holding hands with people. Um, and for her, that was a pretty major step. Um, now she's almost five, and um, in October she'll be five, and she just finished um, a summer camp with normally functioning peers, neurotypical children, and she's done beautifully. Um, she, we've, we are still doing the methyl B12 shots. Um, as you can see, she's extremely verbal. She's independent. Um, she's just fabulous. Um, she has a lot of friends. Um, she's just doing so well. And in fact, next week she starts um, a pre-kindergarten class. And um, it's just a regular private pre-kindergarten. And she'll have speech and occupational therapy at school. Um, but otherwise, socially, she really is just doing great. Um, she engages with other kids. She's very friendly. Um, she is not passive. We used to worry all the time she was so passive. 
I wouldn't leave her alone with other children um, because she couldn't express herself. She couldn't tell me if someone was bothering her. So I always, in the back of my mind, I just thought, oh, I'll never, you know, she'll never get to the point where I can leave, let her be somewhere without my supervision. And I would just always be concerned because she wasn't able to fend for herself, so to speak. Um, but now she is, and um, we even went on vacation this summer, and the resort that we stayed at had a kid camp, and she went a few mornings a week with her sister, and just did a great job, arts and crafts, she learned to swim, uh, went to, uh, to the beach. Um, in fact, last summer she really didn't like the beach, it was too overwhelming for her. Um, it was like a sensory overload um, between the sand, the feel of the sand, the, the sound of the water, um, but this year, just right into the water, um, and just, it's, it's like we have a normal child. And we're so confident that <laughs> we decided to try again. <laughs> she's really doing great, and she's excited to have a, a little brother in the family, and um, she's looking forward to being a, a helper. So hopefully this continues, and um, just, I, I wish that other families could experience, you know, the joy that we have. I know I've met a lot of parents and talked to a lot of parents who you know are just very frustrated and uh, of course you know their hearts break when their when their kids are diagnosed with autism but there is hope out there and even if uh, it helps perhaps a child a little bit you know that's it's such it makes such a difference um, and I know for us thank goodness that you know Beck is where she is now um, so good luck look at this